Hello, I am Gulfam. In this video, I am going to share some points regarding PhD English admission interview, PhD linguistics and uh, PhD literature. You know, uh, in uh, while taking admission in PhD English linguistics or literature, so interview is uh, an important phase and uh, uh, performance in interview really matters uh, either to accept or reject uh, the scholar uh, so it is very much important to perform better in interview in this video I am going to share some important tips with you uh, so by keeping them in mind and preparing accordingly may help you to secure admission in PhD um, English linguistics or PhD English literature. Let's begin the video. First of all, let me share some facts with you when we talk about PhD admission. So, and it is true that it is not always easy to take admission uh, uh, easily because you are well aware of the fact that there are very limited seats in all the university offering PhD linguistics and literature. So each university hardly can have five to ten seats uh, and they only select five to ten candidates uh, for linguistics and literature. So you know it is really challenging to secure admission but on the other hand, if you prepare accordingly and if you prepare well, so it is very much possible to secure admission in uh, PhD English. You know, uh, it is very much important uh, uh, that uh, you should dress in a formal way and uh, you should behave professionally. So, you know, uh, behavior matters a lot, the way you respond, so try to be polite all the time. So it is very much important. In interview, it is uh, usually all that tell us something about yourself or tell us about yourself or introduce yourself. So to respond to this question, you need to talk about uh, your name, where are you from, where did you get your early education like BS or M English and your MPhil and uh, what are your hobbies or interests. So here try to link. Uh, your interest uh, with this response like your research interest for example if you are interested in linguistics so you may talk about uh, all those things or uh, if you are interested in literature you may talk about uh, uh, your favorite authors work or reading hobbies and all these things if you are uh, applying for PhD linguistics so you can be asked uh, ab about key concepts in linguistics for example from any branch of linguistics like phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, discourse, ELT, in applied linguistics, in anything. So you must be uh, prepared for them to know uh, the key concepts uh, in all the sub-branches of linguistics. So you can be asked particularly to define a particular concept or uh, to give example for a particular concept or to relate particular concept uh, uh, with day-to-day -day life so you need to prepare for that similarly if you are uh, applying for English literature so you must be prepared uh, uh, you should know the key authors their work novelists uh, drama writers and poets their contributions key literary movements in literature about history the major works so you can be asked particularly about anything also try to prepare literary terms and uh, figures of speech they are very much important so you can be asked about any particular thing to ask objectively what this thing is or to give what is the example of this thing so you must be prepared for that from phd scholars so it is uh, always asked that uh, what was your previous research uh, in mphil so then talk about your previous research so they can ask particular question from your previous research that what was your research what was the significance what was your contribution what theory did you consider and uh, what was the significance so you must well prepare for your mphil research too because you can be asked particularly in that too while responding to the question of uh, experience of research or previous research experience 
So you can talk about uh, if you have publications, if you have published research papers or book chapters, or if you have participated in conferences, if you have presented in conferences, or if you have participated uh, in different academic activities. So you should highlight that uh, because you know uh, these are the indicator of passion and interest in the particular area. So it can have positive impact on the decision of the panel. So there are great chances of uh, final acceptance. So always uh, highlight uh, your previous research experience and your contribution. For PhD scholars uh, who want to take admission in PhD, it is important to write a very good research proposal according to your area of interest. For example, if you are interested in PhD English linguistics or literature, so you need to write a research proposal accordingly. If you are applying in a particular university, it is better to visit uh, the faculty members or professors of that university and look at their uh, research interest and you may write a research proposal accordingly. So there are more chances that uh, they uh, might like your research area and they may consider you for PhD program because you know at this level uh, it is research oriented degree and it is a research degree so your research proposal matters a lot. You know some university ask uh, to submit research proposal with your application some university don't but some university they don't ask but they do talk about your research proposal in an interview so you must be prepared for that uh, what research do you want to pursue what will be the significance what theory you will use and uh, what will be your contribution in the knowledge so it is very much important to work on research proposal and prepare, get prepared. For. From PhD scholars, uh, it is also asked uh, that uh, why PhD? Why do you want to PhD? So what is your purpose of doing PhD? So you must be prepared for this question as well. You should know the reason for what reason you are doing uh, uh, PhD. And they can also ask you that uh, why this particular university there are other universities too so you should know the justification and uh, you should answer this question accordingly and you must be knowing the reason why uh, do you want your choice of university can be due to different reasons like facilities in the university research culture teachers uh, or uh, anything so you can talk about one of the question they ask is future plans so what are your future plans so then you need to talk about your future plans after completing phd what do you want to do what will be your contribution what impact you can make uh, in the society and in the system so you should also prepare for in conclusion uh, so PhD interview is very much important. It matters a lot. You need to prepare for this well. You need to perform better in the interview. You know uh, when you respond, uh, so your orientation matters a lot. The way you respond, the way you convince them, the way you react to different questions. So don't share any false information. Don't just respond. What do you know is right? So avoid wrong responses. If you don't know about anything, simply say sorry, uh, I don't know about this, rather than responding in a wrong way. So it will have negative impact on the panel. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe this channel to get such useful videos. Thank you.